Hello. Well, it's going to be two videos. My stupid camera cut off again. I don't know why it does me that way sometimes. Lord bless my camera and don't let it completely tear up on me because there's no way I'd be able to get another one. Which means I would, I guess, definitely completely be done at that point with making videos. <sighs> anyway. So here you have a bunch here of this kind. It's not as wide or thick as that other one was. It was with the little round. And it, you know, it's like this. They're bent looking. And they did not have, hello, a rubber band around them. I'm not straight here. There we go. <laughs> so that's what all's in the pack. All right. Now I'm going to get this back over here. Now let me find this. One quart berry picking basket. I guess that's what it's supposed to be. And maybe when you get through, that's what it's supposed to look like right there at the end. That'd be cool. Alright, before you start weaving one, mark the centers of the 10, 16 inch flat spokes. What are the spokes? Oh, Lord. I ain't gonna know what these things are. Soak. Soak. Okay. Soak the natural reed for 20 to 60 minutes in warm water. Why? And what? which one is the natural weed? They're not telling me what's what here, and I'm not gonna know. When you lay out the base, make sure the rough side of the reed is facing up. If this is all the instructions they give you, I am not going to know what's what and how to do. Tools in kit. Clothespins, popsicle stick, materials in kit. Okay. I guess the popsicle stick with the those pins on it is considered tools. The rest of it is materials. Materials in kit. 48 inch of one and a half inch flat reed. 17 inch handle. A one fourth inch laser and round reed in an elastic band. 10 and a half inch, 16 inch long flat spokes for the base. 24 flat, one fourth inch weavers. And seven inch colored, not inch. That was my phone. I was wondering if my camera went off again. Um, seven, I don't know what the one, the two marks is inch. What is the one mark? I don't know. Seven something colored reeds for weaving patterns. Three things to remember as you weave this basket. One, no two baskets look alike. Two, all baskets are ser ser series. S-E-R-I-E-S of over, under, oh duh, I knew that, it's a series of over, under, all baskets are, duh, you dummy. You can weave a basket. Baskets make great gifts for yourself or others, so enjoy weaving this one sign and date the bottom. Okay. I'm just going to read one here. Lay out the base of first laying... No. Bleh, I wish I'd say the words right first time. Lay out the base by, not of, by. B Y by. First laying the first and second spokes in front of you on the table. One half inch apart. Lay the third spoke at a right angle across the center two spokes. I'll go ahead to number two, maybe even number three. Add the fourth spoke between the first two parallel ones. And it's showing pictures, but how am I going to know which ones is exactly the spoke? You know, they don't have no A, B, C and saying what A is and what B is and all that like they do on the shelves you put together. I know this is a basket, not a shelf, but I mean, I need some direction of what's what here, the way they've got it all packaged kind of differently, you know? That 
end. I always go the wrong way. But yeah, they've got these sets. They've got these sets. They've got this. And I don't know which is which. Uh, three, carefully lift the top and bottom horizontal spokes inside the fifth spoke, slide the fifth spoke under them to form an over-under patchwork pattern with, with the rough sides facing up. How do I know what the rough side is? <laughs> I ain't gonna know how to do it. Help, I need help. And then it goes on, four, five, six. Ooh, they got scissors. And six cutting something. Seven, eight, nine. I'm looking at each picture real good. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Hmm. And it, okay, so I guess there's no gluing. It's just weaving it all together. Maybe I was wondering if I was going to need to use any of my glue. It don't have glue in it. You know how sometimes it'll say you will need, but it's not in the kit pack or whatever. And they tell you a few little things you might need. Oh, they're showing scissors. There ain't no scissors in here. And so far I haven't read it where it says you'll need scissors, you know. It don't do anything like that, so I don't know. Alright, guys, but that's it. That's my next kit I'm going to try to work on. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to do it. We'll see, but I'm going to try. So, I wanted to share that with y'all, and I guess it ended up being two videos worth of it. Excuse me. All right, guys, I am, that's all I have for you for now. So, I am out of here until next time. I'm done. I'm going to the loo.